Welcome to Weld.com. I want to do a, a little session here on different methods of arc starting. Um, Everlast came out with a new machine here. It's a, it's a Power Arc 161 STH, and it has a new feature on it called Live Arc. A little bit different than what we're commonly used to for uh, manual touch start with a gas valve, uh, high freak starting, all that kind of stuff. So I want to demonstrate this little this little method here. Uh, again, a little bit different than what we're probably used to. This machine features three starts. Live arc, I think we're real used, all of us are used to lift arc, where we depress a contactor, uh, touch the tungsten to the material to initiate the arc, open the gas valve manually, and then of course our old favorite high freak start, either with a foot pedal or a uh, finger switch. This one, this machine has capability going live arc. This means that the tungsten is electrically charged all the time. The difference is, and you may be wondering, if you see this tor TIG torch over here, it does not have a gas valve on it. Okay? As, and the, the tungsten is electrically hot all the time, so you need to be careful with that. Tungsten is electrically hot. If you touch it to a grounded piece, it's going to get an arc. Guess what else happens? The machine senses that it's grounding out and going to initiate an arc. The gas automatically comes on. So that in itself is a really cool little feature. We're going to do a little test run here, first time. Uh, we're going to do 100 amps, carbon steel, uh, live arc, uh, five seconds of post flow. Real simple setup. Multiple methods of initiating an arc. Remember, this is electrically hot all the time. My tungsten is sticking out of here about a quarter of an inch. Personally, I, I kind of like to rest the cup down, rock it down into the material and lift it back up. You can come down here and scratch this or just touch it in a sweeping motion. However, it may try to kind of stick a little bit I'll do a couple of each and see how we get going on this. First time for me to run this machine, so bear with me. So again, <clears throat> I rest the edge of the cup down on the material, rocked it down while, while the cup was touching the material and initiated the arc, brought my tungsten up to the angle that I wanted. Now to terminate the arc, I just lift out of it, just snap out of it. And that's kind of the only way. It starts immediately. The gas comes on immediately. So again, I'm not touching any of the, the fingertip control up here at all. Live arc, electrically hot tungsten. Those are two start methods of the way I like to do it, just touching the cup. Now we'll, uh, we'll see what happens when we just come down and kind of use a sweeping motion. I should be able to come down and just touch it and initiate the arc. I may have to hang on to the material here so it doesn't stick. I don't know here. A little bit of a stick there. I think that was uh, not bad. At least, I mean, it's not like the tungsten kind of welded it, hard welded itself into the material. Okay, we did two runs here of a method of striking an arc where we gently rest the cup down on the material and rock the tungsten down in here and got this arc started. I'm comfortable with that. I've used it a lot over the years. These two runs over here, we did kind of a sweeping motion and yeah, the tungsten stuck, but it wasn't bad. Uh, practicing that, I could probably get a little better at it. it you know, it's not like the tungsten is going to weld itself hard stick right into the material. It's just a, it's just a gentle stick and you lift it up and you initiate the arc. Need to talk about these spots over here. When we terminate the arc, when we're welding, it's like we got to break it out. So you get a, an arc jump over here. I could play around with this and uh, see if I get, uh, snap it out of there either quicker or somehow to alleviate these spots. They're, all they are is, a, is an arc mark. It's not that big a deal. Um, quick. This machine started very quick when we did our uh, arc initiation, regardless of what method. It, it just kind of came right up to the 100 amps and, and gas was flowing. So 
uh, quick responsive arc start, steady machine, capable of DC stick welding, TIG, 2T, 4T, pedal control, and three different types of arc starts. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Thanks for subscribing. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram.